Rock at center will gain the line. Lucas Sillinger just avoided a big hit there from Young as they almost went face to face. Shot on goal, loose right in front of the goal, and Vernon scores. Nico Karamanis gets his fourth goal against the Penticton Vs this season, just about halfway through this first period, and the Vernon Vipers open the scoring. Well, this one's on a broken play. The puck comes over the blue line, and after a, a shot on net that hits a body, it drops down in front, and Karamanis, right place at the right time in the high slot, just kicks one up in the right-handed shot about three feet above the top of the crease. Puts a little snapshot up over the glove of Adam Scheel. Scheel just a bit late getting that glove up. Not able to make a save, but that's a well-placed shot by a very offensive player. Dixon zone. Scheel stops the rolling puck as Ty Connick gathers speed behind his own net. Long stretch feet ahead. Breakaway chance for Taylor Ward. Backhand stopped by Taylor. He didn't even move on the shot, but he still made the save. Great pass from Ty Connick again. Saw that last night, but Ward was stopped by Adam Mark right back in. Jesse Lansdale with room right side. Goes behind the goal, stops up, tries to wrap it around. Comes right circle, a shot, they score. A shot from inside the right circle by Cameron Trott. Beats Adam Scheel through the five hole. And a horrific start to the second period for the Penticton Bees as they're now down 2-0. Well, a minute 15 seconds in, it was all Vipers. Handful of shots on net. Adam Scheel makes a couple and then a shot that comes off that right wall just, in, just above the top of that circle. Goes through the legs of Scheel and you saw Campoli there as it just barely crosses the line. Campoli yanked it back out. And they'll head upstairs and check on this one. Craig, you and I are a long way, but it still looked like there might have been a bit of daylight between the goal line and the puck. And there's your call. A, a good goal, so Vernon jumps all over the Vs early in this second period. So the Vipers find it inside their own zone. Michael Luffberg clears it up the wall, intercepted. Rizzo centering feed, Bows. wrist shot, scores! <laughs> A turnover by the Vipers inside their own zone ends up in the back of the net. Cassidy Bowes has his 13th goal of the season, and it's 2-1. What a great play there by this line as Rizzo brings this puck over the line, and the puck kind of squibs down into the corner, and both Taylor Ward and Cassidy Bowes go pressure it. And the puck's throwing up that same side boards right onto the stick of Rizzo, and you saw Ward and Bowes both go hard to the net right away. As Rizzo, a little pass over to Cassidy Bowes in the slot. Left-handed shot, just wait, take, beats Taylor in the five hole. The V's right back in this one, it's 2-1. Lost it, racing after it to force it out to center, and Rizzo just got absolutely steamrolled by Shane Kelly. Mitchell's gonna come right in and drop the gloves with Shane Kelly to come to the defense of Massimo Rizzo. And we got another fight in the far corner inside the Vernon zone as well. Mitchell takes his man down, Henderson's throwing punches on a Vipers player in the far side corner. And I think this is what we were expecting between Vernon and Penticton. It took until the second half of the second period, but here it is. One again, Offberg to Jagger Williamson inside the right circle, cross ice feed, wide open net, and the Vipers score. That didn't take long, 16 seconds into the power play as they go from right dot to left dot. And the Vipers are gonna get a power play goal. Six minutes to go here in the second period and they've regained their two goal lead. Well, it's tough to get back composed on the penalty kill here for the Vs. You have a big hit, a fight, a little bit of a delay and then you gotta get right into the penalty kill as that puck is off the right face off dot, works around to the right, or to the left face off dot and then a quick pass across and in the back of the net. 16 seconds into that power play. Now 3-1 for Vernon, and he's got to get back on the offense and get refocused again here in the late second. Well, was Black cycles back to the blue line, Tyconic. He'll go across, right circle. Wyatt Slobosian, goal line feed, Sillinger in front, scores! <laughs> 30 seconds into the power play, the captain answers back. 5.23 to go in the second. And it's now 3-2. Well, back-to-back -back power plays. Both teams need no more than 30 seconds. Is this one a jam play as it starts up top and runs down to Owen Sillinger to the left of the net. You saw him step out and you wondered, is he going to go back door? And instead, he just steps out in front of the net. No Viper defender comes towards him. and Quick turn towards the net. He's a left-handed shot, so the 
Puck is right out in front through the legs of Ty Taylor. It's in the back of the net, and the Bees very quickly pull back within one. Blue line, Michael Young now sends it across left side, pass to the slot. Jordan Sandu takes the shot, blocked in front, rolling it on Shield. Rebound is loose, and the Vipers score. A bouncing puck inside the V zone. They couldn't find where it was. It ends up at the side of the goal, and I think that was Derek Brown who chopped that one in. Vipers take a 4-2 lead. Well, this one starts 20 or so seconds earlier as the V's get it right up to the line and a puck's in midair and James Miller tries to whack it out to get it out of the zone and Vernon's able to keep it in and then the V's get hemmed in their own zone and a tough one in front as Adam Scheel makes a couple saves. Just drops down to the right of him and it's banged into the back of the net and back and forth. This two goal lead for Vernon here is 3-2 and then now late in the second period Vernon's regained their two goal lead. James Miller for Penticton will stop behind his net and wait for his teammates to get set up. Miller hammers it around the wall, took a deflection in front. Jagger Williamson wait, shoots, good save by Shield, but they score on the rebound. James Miller turned it over along the far side boards and the Vipers will capitalize nine and a half, eight and a half gone here in the third and it's now 5-2. Oh, tough time for a turnover like that. Puck comes up the left boards. A turnover for Vernon ends up in the front in Lansdale. Just kind of waits, gets a shot on net. I think it was Williamson, excuse me, they got the shot on net and Lansdale cleans up that rebound and now he's got a big hole to dig themselves out of. 11 and a half minutes to go in this final frame. They find themselves down five to two. Vipers get it to center and that'll do it here for tonight's game as the final meeting of the season series will go to the Vernon Vipers. So the end result of the six game season series is two wins, two losses, and two ties. So really nothing was solved at all through these six games against the Vernon Vipers.